All right, 10 o'clock. Hello to all the attendees. Uh, hello, Jürgen. Hello, Christopher. Um, my name is Ramin, Ramin Esmaili. I'm head of marketing communication at Softing Industrial. Uh, with me today, I have Jürgen Pfeiffer, IoT and Cloud Partner Manager at Vago, and my colleague, Dr. Christopher Anhalt. Uh, Christopher, he's Vice President of Product Marketing here at Softing. And we'll spend the next half an hour together discussing uh, machine connectivity and edge computing. And then I would just say enjoy the webinar. I hope you have an interesting webinar and I'll give over to Jürgen. Thank you, Ramin, and hello and a warm welcome to, to the audience and all participants. Yes, uh, just to start to get a common mindset in, 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 in this discussion and the uh, next uh, minutes, um, I just want to speak about the digitalization and what it is, it does not mean uh, to change everything uh, and uh, to um, realize it only with this new uh, um, production lines, for example, and new facilities and, and so on. It means that uh, it is possible to improve what is already existing in the plants and the production lines by uh, the help of the new. And um, I think that is, is a mindset, especially if we speak about the brownfield application. And the brownfield application, um, that's, that's my opinion, and I think it's a, it's a common opinion as, as well, uh, has, a, has a biggest impact for digitalization uh, because it's, uh, uh, there are the most uh, applications uh, existing um, uh, combined with greenfield application everything is new and uh, we have the information from the machines but this is only a small percentage uh, combined with the brownfield application and the other interesting thing is that um, if, if there are existing application the the employees and and the colleagues especially the older one uh, they they know the behavior of the machines and if we speak about for example predictive maintenance and other uh, application in, in in the in the field of digitalization then they uh, can inform us uh, can speak about the experience and also match their experience uh, to the results of the digitalization application for example machine learning and all the other things. So um, there, is, uh, there are a lot of advantages to uh, realize brownfield applications if, if you uh, think about digitalization. And a lot of is possible by using IoT gateways, edge devices, and uh, edge connectors. And these are the things uh, Christopher will start with in the next slides. Yeah, thank you, Jürgen, uh, very much for the introduction and for the motivation of the topic. Uh, thank you, everyone, for, for joining this webinar and uh, taking the time um, to listen to us. As Jürgen said, I would like um, to use here six or seven slides um, to introduce you to um, Softing products which realize machine connectivity. And I would like to explain in particular um, how that relates to edge computing. After all, the title of this webinar is Machine Connectivity and Edge Computing. I think nobody doubts that edge computing is a hot topic, so to say. Uh, you hear about it everywhere. Um, let, me, uh, let me begin here with one yeah, theoretical slide or one slide that defines the term. As I think different people use the term differently. Sometimes Edge is reduced to just an extension of cloud. Sometimes it's used synonymous with, um, with on-prem. Um, we like this definition here, which is actually taken from a white paper which was published by um, OMP uh, a while ago, which focuses on the way how software modules or how a system is operated. So according to this definition, uh, the question is not, is data actually um, 
um, processed on-prem, on edge level, or on a central platform, both is possible. In, in many real-world applications, it's happening in parallel. Um, but this definition really proposes um, um, to focus on the way how a solution can be managed and that edge, as opposed to on-prem or just a production asset, offers ways to be managed centrally. It also suggests that um, um, Edge could support container um, technology um, here, a standard IT technology. We'll, we'll come back to that point a little bit later. So what does it, so what does it mean then, Edge and, and machine connectivity um, and the way how a machine connectivity is operated? The first central observation, it really depends on the solution context. Yeah, of course, there, there has been a need uh, for machine connectivity long before we started to talk about IoT and, and the deployment of applications on cloud platforms. Um, there are and there continue to be many um, relevant solution scenarios where you need machine connectivity locally on one production site. Uh, you want to install one, uh, one to feed data into one application. You want to set it up once. And then ideally no more changes, maybe even for years to come, minimal maintenance. This is what can be characterized as site autonomy for machine connectivity, where often a hardware product or maybe desktop application fits the requirements best. As opposed to that, an IoT solution really is a different context. Um, you want to deploy an application and reuse it across multiple locations. Uh, typically, you have quite a few changes over the lifetime of the solution, which includes changes to machine connectivity, making different data available, um, certificate rotation for security reasons, and, and other points. So IoT solutions really create a different context for machine connectivity, um, which you may want to manage then um, also centrally, an idea which we like to summarize under the term um, industrial edge yeah and this points in a direction that um, that you provide machine connectivity a software module docker container as already said uh, third party integration becomes relevant so containerization is not the only aspect of it integration there are many more for example the availability of api for third party integration customers may even want to use consume machine connectivity as as a service the wide void capex so to summarize, what does it mean if there is an IoT solution context? What are the benefits if machine connectivity is made available um, on edge level um, as a containerized software model? Well, it can be deployed on standard hardware, for example, from from Vago. Um, it's a way to use machine connectivity, which can be uh, managed remotely better. In many cases, there is a central team with an IT background um, to do so. So this is enabled if you deploy machine connectivity that way. And overall, it leads to um, more efficient operating concepts and improved scalability for the entire solution if you integrate machine connectivity in that way. I picked here the Edge Connector Siemens, a software product to give a first example. Um, how products commercially available now can look like. So the Edge Connector Siemens, as the name suggests, is a software module that can connect um, Siemens PLCs. Um, modern Siemens PLCs integrate OPCA, but with this uh, product you can connect also um, Siemens PLCs uh, without an integrated OPCA server. Um, 1200, 1500 S7 um, PLCs and also the old one. Uh, S7300, S7400. Um, for communication with the application, northbound communication, uh, we support here the OPCA standard and MQTT. Uh, as the image indicates, the typical architecture is a ref uh, an MQTT broker, also on edge level, or maybe a cloud connector, and then data is passed on to a central cloud platform, or it's a mix of both. Southbound. As said, we support the um, proprietary Siemens um, interface, and one edge connector instance can connect up to 20 um, 
PLCs. If you need to connect more, you need to deploy multiple instances of Edge Connector Siemens. Last a quick remark, the product comes with a graphical user interface. So if you want, you can operate the product in a traditional way, not remotely, just connect a laptop, for example, and do the configuration steps via a graphical user interface. Uh, but as I said, via the API, uh, it can also be um, configured remotely, all the configuration steps as needed. The Edge Connector Siemens is just one of uh, the containerized products for industrial edge computing, among others. We have an anti-edge connector product family, which also can connect Siemens in numeric 840D CNC machines, Farnox CNC machines, everything, all the PLCs which can be read out via Modbus uh, from Vago, back of codices and others. We currently work on an edge connector for Alan Bradley, um, which should be available end of this year or early next year, so that we can only connect, also connect those. On top, there is a SmartLink product family uh, to read out data from actors and devices, maybe for digital client asset management um, or other applications. And we have a so-called edge aggregator, which reads out OPCUA data sources. If you have many of them, you may want to aggregate all those in one aggregation server, and you may want to um, do more advanced things in an OPC architecture working with information models, uh, for example, all that is possible here with, with the Edge product. Now, I, I, I show you two slides. Um, to get across that this is not just theory. Um, so these uh, applications or solutions where machine connectivity is deployed, used in edge contact exists today. Uh, we have customers doing it. The first example here is an automotive OEM. Um, this customer decided to use AWS, but at the end, from our perspective, it doesn't really make a difference. AWS, Azure, um, or another cloud platform. As we see often, in bigger solutions, the customer actually is using two edge levels, uh, also for security reasons. There is an upper edge level, which in this case is managed by AWS. Services from the cloud platform, AWS IT Greengrass. And there is a lower edge level, closer to the machine, close to the production assets. And in particular now, uh, a lower edge level for machine connectivity, where the customer is using our edge connector product. And this level, as we see in many cases, even if it's technically possible, is not managed via the cloud platform, but by a dedicated management platform. In that case, the customer decided to use Portainer, uh, which is a partner softing, also Fargo, um, to manage here the deployment, the configuration, and the solution on the lower edge level. That, that's a fact, that's a frequent scenario. Um, alternatively, customers um, may also use um, Kubernetes-based platforms like Red Hat OpenShift or Suze Rancher. And the second example, and that already then finalizes my, uh, my presentation, uh, is not a shop, for example, it's a small product example, so to say, a vendor of compression machines, where you obviously have a solution context with no local operation. Yeah, such a compression machine may be uh, um, sitting on a ship and there's no personnel around to, to, to operate it. Uh, um, so here you have an immediate requirement. Um, um, is it possible to manage, reconfigure, deploy new versions and so on, um, on, on on that compression machine? And here the customer, in that case, it happens to be Azure, is using Azure to do so. And again, uh, the edge connector uh, is used here to connect in that, uh, in that case just one or maybe two PLCs for redundancy or two and four. And the edge connector is running here on a standard um, on a standard uh, industrial IPC. So these are two examples, there are of course many more, that um, using machine connectivity in an edge context, manage it centrally, deploying it on standard hardware is, is happening today. Which brings me to the end of my uh, part. If you want to learn more, have an uh, interest here, understanding more details about that, Softing offers a landing page. You see the URL or there's a QR code. 
Uh, we are also, by the way, official IoT partner in the Vago Partner Program. There's also landing page shown here at the right hand side. And with that, uh, Jürgen, I hand over back to you that you can explain here in more detail um, how Vago can be used to, to set up such edge architectures indeed. Christopher, thank you very much. And uh, I hope I started already the sharing of the slides. Does it work? Yes, I'll it's good. Am I getting started, slide? Um, so, so it's fine? It's fine. We're seeing the getting started slide with Softing and Vago. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. and. Uh, I would like to speak about the challenges uh, to collect the data from from uh, the PLCs um, and the applications. And uh, I think uh, we all have a similar or, the, uh, or um, uh, indeed the same experience that uh, nearly each uh, application is, is unique in, in, in the field. We have uh, different generations of uh, PLCs, different communication physics like uh, serial communication, like the Ethernet communication, CAN uh, or whatever. And on these different physics, there are different uh, protocols. And I think that's really a, a big uh, challenge to manage that. And uh, yeah, the question is how to collect the data from the legacy uh, system. And there are a lot of uh, possibilities possibilities that uh, are uh, possible to combine with edge technology and edge technology in the middle of the slide uh, shows what is possible not only to collect the data and send the raw data into the uh, IT systems the databases or the clouds it uh, uh, has the possibility to do the uh, data enrichment directly on the edge, the semantic enrichment, and uh, also to uh, run other application um, um, on, on, on the edge uh, to, uh, to do some, uh, to, to calculate some first uh, results, to do some machine learning and so on, and just to put uh, the results into the IT systems or the cloud. So a lot of possibilities by using the uh, edge technology. And uh, to get the data, uh, there are the uh, different protocols and physics uh, down to the pause bound. Uh, that means uh, to the OT, to the operational technology with their PLCs, with their field buses and so on. And uh, on the northbound uh, side there are the different protocols up to the IT uh, just a simple um, um, uh, communication from the data by FTP for example or also the more modern protocols like OPC or a, um, MQTT and uh, so on to get the data into the IT and into the different cloud uh, systems and the solutions of the different cloud providers. And uh, on the edge, uh, there are the possibilities to run the um, connectors from uh, Softing. And uh, there are also uh, on the same edge device, the possibilities to run, uh, for example, some influx DB application or Gramfana uh, application to have an UI directly on the edge. And uh, this uh, combination makes it possible to combine it also with signals. That means if, if you um, have not all the systems or all the signals and all the data uh, in, in your PLC, then it's also possible to um, add some other signals, uh, to add some other signals, for example, uh, to collect energy data, uh, to, or to do some energy measurements for some uh, reports, is, especially if you are based in the European Union, when uh, in, in the near future uh, you are asked to do some ESG uh, reports and, and all the 
other um, uh, reports, uh, especially also for CO2 footprint and all these things. So there are a lot of uh, applications and more signals uh, needed as uh, the legacy systems uh, already have. And uh, then you have the possibilities to extend the IoT gateways by uh, some uh, different uh, I.O. modules to collect the data or also by signal splitters to uh, uh, collect uh, data directly from, from uh, existing uh, sensors, for example. And uh, some other challenges are uh, the, the mass handling and the mass rollout of IoT gateways. In, in the past, uh, if, if there uh, was a setting into operation of a PLC, the, the operator or the PLC programmer went directly to the cabinet, directly to the machine, opened the cabinet and uh, then uh, uh, put the cable directly into the PLC do the program download and, and all these things. But if you have uh, a, a huge quantity um, um, of IoT gateways and edge devices in your company, then you don't want uh, to go to each edge device uh, um, and uh, do a separately programming there. Then it would be great to have a smart integration into the IT landscape for example, by using the uh, Docker technology. And that helps a lot, especially also in the context of, of IT security. And I will show it in, in, in some other slides in some minutes. So these are some aspects and some other aspects are which data you want for which kind of application. Do you want it uh, for an MES system? Do you want it for uh, collecting energy data or some machine learning applications. And um, that means uh, that there are also some different stakeholders in your company which want to have data from the machines. And uh, I think it wouldn't be a good idea uh, to have a separate system for each application or for each uh, stakeholder group. It uh, would be a great idea uh, to, to have a scalable hardware and the scalable uh, software if you start to do the digitalization of, of your legacy system, of your buildings to uh, turn them into smart buildings, of, of your uh, plants uh, and production uh, facility to turn it into a smart production line. And that means the scalability should be focused on both, on hardware and on software. Uh, that's one pillar of, of digitalization. The other thing is a security. Uh, that means that if, if we um, uh, uh, deliver our product, we also have the handbook for it. And yeah, in each handbook, there is a standard, the default password of, of our devices, uh, of course. That's how it uh, uh, worked in the past and uh, it is not really a good idea uh, to keep this password. It would be better to change the, the password to your private password and um, um, that could be also uh, done by, by mass handling and it's not needed um, to do it uh, uh, on each edge device separately. And uh, so the security is one other pillar for, for the digitalization and the device uh, and application management as well. That means, um, for example, you have seen the different kind of connectors of softing. And uh, if, if you want to, uh, or if there is a need that there is, a, is a another PLC from another distributor, for example, and, uh, and Bradley, the other one is uh, Siemens, and you want to uh, use different, or you have to use different connectors, and that means different application, and also these applications should, should be managed uh, in, in, a, in a smart way, and uh, that's what the next picture will show. Um, here you see the 
example of, of um, device and application management, which supports one or two pillars of the uh, former slide uh, of the digitalization. And uh, for example, if, if you start with your um, rollout of your hardware, uh, then it could be that you have different uh, operating systems because one IoT gateway or one edge device um, is, is uh, some weeks older than the other and it has another uh, um, version of the operating system. And if you have an application, and that means a Docker container, what is shown uh, on the top on the right hand side, uh, that means that it is possible to deploy an app, a Docker container, uh, to do an update of the operating system, as well as uh, different applications. That means the different um, um, edge connectors I spoke about, you can do the rollout in uh, this uh, smart way by deploying a Docker image and start to run a Docker container. Also for the other application, for example, a dashboard or whatever you want to run on the edge device beside the uh, softing edge connector. And in the end of the setting of into operation, there is a possibility to uh, secure the devices. Um, that if, if, if we uh, hear uh, the um, example of the default password some seconds uh, uh, ago, uh, then here is a possibility to uh, deploy the new password or the new pass passwords for each separate uh, edge device, one separate password, for example, um, concerning to your IT department, so to the rules of your IT department, that everything is secure, especially on the, uh, the uh, border um, from, from IT to OT, that you have really a secure uh, um, um, landscape of, of your uh, digitalization applications. And uh, if you want to collect data, then there are uh, some different uh, ways possible from, from just connecting data by IP67 modules uh, on, the, on, on, on the button, then the IoT gateways, the infrastructure and the edge devices, which are able to run the softing uh, connectors. And, uh, to uh, collect the data from the field, do some aggregation and um, uh, communicate it into the different IT and, and cloud system. And if you don't want to do the integration by your own, then it is possible that uh, Vago delivers a, a ready to use solution here uh, shown in the middle on the slide on, on at the button. That means a, a cabinet, a control cabinet uh, with the uh, data, with, with the uh, hardware inside. Uh, we, we spoke about, about in some project meetings. Uh, it's customized for you, for your application. And uh, then it uh, can be mounted next to the application. Uh, there could be the already uh, the, um, the software, the softing uh, connector um, uh, downloaded into the application and afterwards there's a smart integration into your IT landscape. So a lot of uh, possibilities and uh, the softing and Vago think uh, that there is and there will be uh, also uh, a suitable application and a suitable solution for your way to digitalize your, um, uh, your needs, your, your production facilities or your legacy systems. Yeah, so let's come to an end of these slides. I thank you very much um, um, for being with us and Ramin, I think and I hope we have a lot of interesting questions. Yeah, and uh, thank you very much, Jürgen. Also, thank you, Christopher.
So let me see what we got in in terms of questions. Uh, I got one here, which is asking, when it comes to Vago hardware, is it possible to run edge connector products of softing in parallel with software products of third parties? Yes, it is. And, and that is a big advantage of the Docker technology. And uh, yeah, is it possible? Okay, great. So, Robin, if I may add a quick comment here, uh, maybe so. Yes, as Jürgen just said, technically it's possible. I would just like to emphasize that from a software perspective, um, the requirement to integrate into bigger complex IT solution architectures, including third party, is just basic and critical. Yeah, we are best of breed vendor of machine connectivity and making sure that we integrate the third party components, which may run on the same hardware. The central via APIs via via our product features. Okay, perfect. Thank you to the both of you. Um, another question coming in is: uh, I'm interested in edge connector products of Softing, which runs on Wago hardware. The question, however, is: Are there complementary services partners? Uh, like in the field of consulting for architecture, pre-installation, making sure the system runs. So I'll put that forward to you, Jürgen. Yeah, thanks. Um, yes, it's, it's possible. Um, I can't answer directly which partner you should uh, choose because uh, depends in which country you are, you are based and, and, and so on. But we have different uh, partner networks and different integrators we, we uh, could um, inform you about and the other thing is uh, speak with us speak with our business unit uh, solution and uh, we are going to build uh, these these solution for you directly okay perfect thank you and in indirectly also answered the last question which i currently have which was uh, is the um or the solution of softing edge connector products on wago hardware is that internationally globally available or is that uh, specific to certain countries and regions which in a way you already answered with the previous question in fact that uh, this is globally available internationally. Yes, Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, as I see that there are no more questions coming in, I'll give it a few more seconds, but also use the time already to thank you, Jürgen, for your insight, your input, your time uh, you're putting into this webinar and the partnership. Also, thank you, Christopher. And since we have no more questions coming in, if Anything comes up uh, in the course of the day when um, things sink in, you think about it, you have questions, we're there for you. We're happy mm -hmm. to answer those. And uh, for the moment, I say thank you to the participants and a great thank you to Jürgen and Christopher and wish everybody a great week ahead. Thank you so much. Take care. <laughs>